Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at IoT services on Azure. And so before we get into it, what is IoT? So IoT stands for Internet of Things. So a network of internet connected objects, usually hardware, able to connect and exchange data. So here is a graphical representation of IoT devices. Maybe you recognize some, but let's just go through a quick list of things that could be IoT devices. So you have smart bulbs, so maybe there's light bulbs in your house that are controlled by the internet. Smart fridges, who doesn't want one of those? Smart light switches, narrowband or wideband hardware. This is just a way of connecting to the internet. It's just like, uh, it's kind of like Wi-Fi. Um, then you have security cameras. Then you have voice command speakers. So think of like Alexa. Then you might have temperature, pressure, or humidity sensors. If you're in the farming industry, you can you you can leverage, leverage IoT devices for that. Maybe uh, you have drones. Uh, maybe you have phones. That could be an IoT device. And even buttons. So uh, AWS had these things called uh, AWS or Dash buttons. Uh, they weren't popular, but the idea was you could like press a button and like purchase something. Um, so like if you always had to get like soap for your washer, you could have that button right on your washer. Um, but let's actually talk about the IoT services here. Um, so the first one here is IoT Central. So this allows you to connect your IoT devices to the cloud. Then you have IoT Hub. So this is this uh, enables highly secure and reliable communications between your IoT applications and devices it manages. Uh, then you have IoT Edge. This is a fully managed service built on the Azure IoT Hub. It allows you it allows data processing and analysts near the IoT devices. So this is really edge computing. I really should have highlighted that for you, but this is where you are able to offload your compute from the cloud to local computing hardware such as IoT devices, phones, or home computers. So it's just a way of saving money or utilizing your local network for compute. Then you have uh, Windows 10 IoT Core Services. So this is a cloud services subscription that provides the essential services needed to commercialize a device on Windows IoT or 10 IoT Core. So basically it's long-term OS support and services to manage device updates and uh, assess device health. All right, so there you go. That's your IoT services.